The ocean presents a completely different natural world. The creatures that reside underwater not only look different from land dwellers, but the way they function contrasts all the way down to a fundamental level. The vast array of life forms in the marine ecosystem is awe-inspiring, entertaining, and sometimes downright terrifying. The deep waters of the sea is the home to many, literally, shocking creatures. The absence of light has forced these organisms to adapt and develop bizarre features you wouldn't see anywhere besides an alien movie. I hope you aren't easily scared, because for today we have ten deep sea creatures you don't want to meet. I would hold my breath if I were you. You'll need it to escape from our number one. With all that said and done, let's begin, shall we? Number 10. The Fang Tooth Fish. We're kicking off number 10 with quite a fearsome little foe. Our first guest doesn't give us the luxury of starting out soft. Displaying a lot of common features of many deep water dwelling fish, the Fang Tooth epitomizes what it means to be a deep sea creature. You won't catch anything like this in your neighborhood pond or river. Living around 2,000 meters deep into the ocean, the Fang Tooth is not making any friends, and a quick glance can tell you why it isn't exactly the friendly type of fish. With its massive jaw equipped with an array of long fangs, the Fang Tooth lives up to its reputation. Though its size leaves much to be desired, I don't think anyone would like to give this little guy a pet. Sure, number 10 is pretty startling, however, it has nothing on... Number 9. The Stargazer. Watch where you step as our number 9 spends its entire life on the surface of the deep sea bottom. Spending its entire life phase up towards the surface of the water, the Stargazer pitches its 1,000 yard stare into the heavens. It is willing to devour anything that swims in between it and the sky. Under the murky depths of the northern Atlantic, the Stargazer awaits at the bottom of the ocean for its next meal. This flatfish has developed a special ability to bury itself under the sea bottom as a method of camouflage. It uses this method in order to seize the opportunity to consume small fish, crustaceans, and mollusks. The stargazer is equipped with a worm-like lure to attract prey overhead and ambush them. And if being unfairly equipped as an ambush predator wasn't enough, the stargazer is also equipped with venomous spines attached to its 35-inch frame. And as if all that isn't enough, the Stargazer has indeed been blessed with the ability to produce an electric shock, which it uses to get prey as well as deter possible predators. Number 8. The Colossal Squid We have all heard of the Kraken. Timeless, nautical folklore of seafaring vessels being overtaken by colossal squids has been told over centuries. But what if I told you that there could be some validity to all these stories? That giant tentacles reaching out from the ocean's surface is a real-life possibility. And that you can dive deep enough into the ocean and have a first-hand encounter with it. You don't have to believe me. The colossal squid, kraken, whatever you want to call it, it's actually real. It also has enough tentacles to go around for everyone. Reaching up to lengths of 40 feet and weighing up to 1,500 pounds, the colossal squid can effortlessly reach from the depths and snatch you right up. Of course, this has never occurred in recorded history, but the possibility is there. The colossal squid is a great example of deep sea gigantism, which is a trait common in deep sea cephalopods and crustaceans. This condition is exhibited by the massive size of an organism compared to its relatives, which typically live near the surface of the water. So, the deeper you go, the scarier and larger some of the creatures tend to get. Oh, that's just... that's just encouraging. Number 7. The Sperm Whale. What, a whale? How could a sperm whale be terrifying? <laughs> oh, you all haven't read Moby Dick yet, have you? Let me explain and perhaps you'll recant your initial thought once you hear about the story of a human's encounter with one. While the sperm whale might not be what you think of when the topic of deep sea creatures comes up, sperm whales have been known to plunge over 2,000 meters deep into the ocean. Just for a reference, that's over 20 football fields. And what do they tend to feast on while that deep in the ocean? Well, that would be our previous guest, the colossal squid. And sperm whales have been known to swallow them whole. Can you imagine encountering such a giant creature such as a sperm whale and being swallowed whole? I'm sure it's quite dark and disgusting in there. But either way, imagine no more as I tell you the story of James Bartley, who in 1891 was reported to have been swallowed whole when a sperm whale was attacking his ship. He spent 36 hours inside the whale before being carved out as a result of the whale beaching after dying due to constipation. While it certainly seems far-fetched, you never know in this crazy world. No need to worry though, none of our other guests match up to the size of the sperm whale, but they do possess the uncanny resemblance of extraterrestrial life. Except they actually live, breathe, and eat on our planet. Number 6. The Lancefish. Our next guest is significantly smaller, however the disparity in size is compensated in its appearance. 
Having a very similar frame to the marlin, the lancefish patrols the deep waters near Greenland. This deep water dweller possesses a wide mouth equipped with three very large fangs used to impale prey which typically consists of crustaceans, octopus, squid, and small fish. It also looks pretty intimidating, so you can certainly add the fear factor in there. While they have a long frame of almost 7 feet, their body is not equipped to pursue prey. Their flesh is very mushy and gelatinous, indicating they're more than likely ambush predators considering they lack any dense muscle. How would you find yourself being ambushed by such a large creature? While its slim frame and color coordination with deep sea waters enables it to camouflage in plain sight. So it's pretty much invisible when it's in its natural environment. Our next one is quite the familiar one as we've actually put him on a few other lists. Number 5. The Angler Fish A bit of an oxymoronic name, wouldn't you say? The Angler Fish is actually a fish that fishes fishes, while also being a fish. A fish fishing fish. I'm gonna stop now. Say that five times fast though, it's, <laughs> it's not fun. Either way, I wouldn't waste my breath though, because an encounter with an angler fish is a recipe for crippling fear. The angler fish features a full array of fang-like teeth to help snatch prey more efficiently. Some species of angler fish dwell as deep as 10,000 meters. At this level, there's not a lot of heat and food is scarce. This forces the angler fish to conserve most of its energy if it's going to live. Therefore, pursuing prey is not the best option. So it utilizes a different type of hunting. Hanging a worm-like appendage from its forehead, the anglerfish actively lures unsuspecting prey to latch on as if it were food. Unbeknownst to them, the anglerfish is always ready to attack and make them its next meal. Additionally, light is very sparing this deep in the water, so as an adaption, the anglerfish displays bioluminescence. Equipped with special cells, the anglerfish produces light and helps attract more prey closer to its lure. Even more so, some species of anglerfish descend several long stretches of bioluminescent ornaments which are thought to be used as a method of establishing physical awareness. When possible prey or predators come within the vicinity of these extended appendages, the anglerfish is able to locate where it is without devoting energy to moving. Number 4. The Black Dragonfish The Black Dragonfish is a prime example of nature meeting and or exceeding our expectations of absurdity. With males barely growing up to an inch and females growing a little over two feet, the black dragonfish does not need size to induce fear. In fact, its size is probably what makes it even creepier. Its long, slender body combined with its jet black color scheme make it the perfect candidate for the next Alien movie. Their mouths are fairly small, but are lined with sharp fangs used to submit prey, which usually consists of small fish and crustaceans. And much like many of our guests on the list, the black dragonfish also utilizes bioluminescence to lure its prey. But their adult forms are not the only interesting feature of these creatures. In their larval stage, their eyes extend off long stalks from the rest of its body, resembling the inner workings of a human's optic pathways. Number 3. The Goblin Shark not only is the goblin shark a prehistoric creature with a lineage that goes back to over 125 million years, but he's also returning guests on this show. Known as a living fossil, the goblin shark possesses attributes only found in the fossil record which makes it a distant relative of ancient dinosaurs. This is literally coming straight out of a movie. Honestly, just look at the thing. Nothing really compares to it in terms of appearance. Despite its slow movement, the goblin shark possesses a long snout with an extendable jaw that can stretch out to the length of its snout. Inside said jaw lies over 50 rows of upper and lower teeth which are used to snatch up prey after they've been located via electric field pulses. Typical prey for the goblin shark consists of small fish, octopus, squid, and crustaceans. Growing to be around a good 12 to 15 feet in length, the goblin shark is twice the size of an adult male human. Not to worry though, goblin sharks are quite rare to find. Number 2. The Frilled Shark I would look away if you're easily scared. These shocking yet very real creatures exist around 1200 feet below sea level and resemble an undesirable fusion between a shark and a snake. The frilled shark's slender body typically ranges about 5 feet long, resembling a serpent more than a shark. That is, until its mouth opens. Positioned inside its jaw are over 300 needle-like teeth, positioned inwards to help fasten its mouth to a squid's body. Additionally, its jaws are distensible, which enable them to extend and allow the frilled shark to consume prey up to half its size. Also being considered a living fossil, the frilled shark lies within a lineage that dates back 150 million years. It seems there's something about living at the bottom of the sea that enables creatures to live longer. 
maybe they're onto something with this whole breathing underwater thing. But after taking a look at our number one, how I like to the safety of the confines of my home, thank you very much. I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only 5 seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe within the next 5 seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just try it, it really works. Number 1. The Pacific Viperfish Most of our guests have been relatively passive creatures. They say looking good is only half the battle. The other half, of course, is the physical performance. And our number 4 exemplifies this idea. Prepare yourself because the Pacific Viperfish sounds, looks, and brings a big game. Known as one of the most fearsome predators in the sea, the Pacific Viperfish camouflages itself with a blue-silver color scheme to blend in with the low visibility and darkness. Its extended jaw allows its extremely long fangs to rest on the outside of its body, reaching just outside of its own eyes. Being capable of swimming at extremely fast speeds combined with its long, sharp fangs enables the Pacific Viperfish to catch, kill, and consume prey in very little time. Its stomach is capable of extending out, enabling food storage. Additionally, the Pacific Viperfish possesses a lower basal metabolic rate, which enables it to go for days without food. Not only is it great at pursuit, but the Pacific Viperfish utilizes the same specialized cells the anglerfish uses to blind predators and escape from danger. If it weren't for the Viperfish's size, it could make a serious run for the ocean's apex predator. And that's our video for today, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let us know in the comment section down below, and I will see you all next time.